population forecasting so what is the meaning of this so before going to the meaning of this you must have heard about a term which is called as weather forecast so what is the meaning of that weather forecast that means what will be the weather in the future time so the process of finding that is called as weather forecasting so similarly population forecasting means what will be the population after certain amount of time that is called as population forecasting so why this population forecasting is required so for that we need to come to the basic concepts so we have seen in the first video that for the design of water treatment plant the most important parameter is the most important parameter is discharge that is q and how to find out q so q is found out by the product of population at the end of design period into per capita water demand so this per capita water demand we have already seen these values are constant if you take an office or let's say a domestic purpose then this value is constant now how to find out the population at the end of design period we have also seen what is the design period so generally for water treatment plant the design period is 15 years that means we should be able to find out the population after 15 years while designing the water treatment plant let's say if we are constructing the water treatment plant in 2020 then we have to design this water treatment plant for 2020 plus 15 so that is 2035 so what will be the population in 2035 that we have to found, find out and for that population we have to design this water treatment plant so the process of finding this population after certain period is called as population forecast now definitely the population is going to increase with the time so what are the main factors which are possible or which are responsible for the changes in population so write down there are three main factors three main factors responsible for responsible for changes in population So what are these three factors? So the first factor is births. Second one is the deaths. And the third one is called as migration. So these three factors are collectively responsible for the changes in population. Now how this population is found out? So this population can be found out by using some probabilistic methods we cannot exactly find out we cannot exactly find out the population after certain period we only can find out what is an approximate population based on the previous trends so we can find out only approximate population by mathematical formulas So now to find out this approximate population we will be using a curve which is called as growth curve or logistic curve. So first we will draw this. So on this curve on x axis it represents the time and on y axis it represents the population now the shape of this curve if you see properly then this looks as an S curve 
और एस शेप कर द शेप इज लुकिंग एज एस नाउ दिस वी विल डिवाइड इट इन टू थ्री पोर्शन सो दिस कर डिवाइड इन टू थ्री पोर्शन द फर्स्ट पोर्शन इज दिस इनिशियल पोर्शन फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी सेकेंड पोर्शन इज फ्रॉम बी टू सी एंड द लास्ट पोर्शन इज फ्रॉम सी टू डी सो नाउ फ्यू थिंग्स वी नीड टू राइट इट हियर इन द पोर्शन ए बी इन द पोर्शन ए बी द पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग एक्सपोनशियली ओके सो इन दिस ए बी इन पोर्शन ए बी पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग एक्सपोनशियली ओके सो वी कैन राइट इट हियर दैट द चेंज इन पॉपुलेशन with time the change in population with time is proportional to is proportional to population now the second portion is the second portion is bc so in portion bc in portion bc so the population increases at a constant rate so population is increasing at constant rate it is increasing at constant rate so we can write it in the form of this equation rate of change in population so this is constant now in portion cd you can see that the population is saturated now the last portion cd the population what it has happened it has increased and then over the time it is saturated there is no more increase in the population so we can see that or we can say that in portion cd it represents the late growth late growth or we can say saturation also at the also at the last portion of the cd it shows us the decreasing rate the rate is decreasing population growth rate is decreasing so this we can write it in the term of equation as change in population with respect to time is proportional to ps minus p ps minus p now what is this ps ps means the saturation population that after certain amount of time the population does not increases that value of population is called as saturation population ps so we have seen that this growth curve is divided into total three main parts now based on the based on the type of city or type of community whether the community population is increasing exponentially or whether it is increasing at a constant rate or whether it is decreasing or reaching a saturation level so we have to use different methods so if the population is increasing exponentially then we have to go for geometric increase method if it is increasing at a constant rate then we have to go for arithmetic increase method 
so what are these methods i am writing these are the methods to find out the population so first we have to identify whether the community is a the population in community is growing exponentially or it is growing at constant rate or it is reaching a saturation level so based on that we have to use the one of the methods which is present here okay so in the next video now we will see what are the different population forecasting methods and then we'll start from the arithmetic increase method